Hi everyone. In the last session we have seen about the polygon fill rules. Today in this session we will see how to fill the area of a polygon. Here we are going to see an approach which is boundary fill algorithm and flag fill algorithm. An alternative approach for filling an area is to start at a point inside the area and paint the interior point by point still we reach the boundary. This is useful technique for filling areas which have irregular bodies such as the design created with a paint program. The algorithm makes the following assumptions. One interior pixel is known and the pixels in boundary are known. If the boundary of some region is specified in a single color, we can fill the interior of this region pixel by pixel until the boundary color is encountered. This method is called boundary fill algorithm. This is employed in interactive painting packages where the in interior points are easily selected. One can sketch a figure outline and pick an interior point. This interior point is called as the C point. In this figure, you can see the circle which is in the red color which is called as the interior point or C point. This is then painted in the fill color as shown in these figures. Basically, a boundary fill algorithm starts from an interior point which is mentioned as x, y and sets the neighboring points to the desired color. This procedure continues until all the pixels are processed up to a designated boundary for the area. There are two methods for processing the neighboring pixels from a current point. The first is four neighboring points. These are the pixel positions that are placed at, that are located at right, left, above and below the current pixel. Areas filled by this method are called four connected. The second one is the eight neighboring points. This point is used to fill more complex figures. Here the set of neighboring points to be set includes four diagonal pixels in addition to the four points that we have seen in the first method. Fill methods using this approach are called 8 connected. Coming to this diagram, this is a 4 connected. We have to color the neighboring pixels which is at the top, bottom, left and right. And in the 8 connected, in addition to the top, left, right and bottom, we have 4 diagonal pixels. Consider the figure which is given in the next slide. An 8 connected boundary fill algorithm would correctly fill the interior of the area defined in the figure. But a 4 connected boundary fill color would only fill part of that region. You now you see this. If you take this as your start position, then if you go for 4 connected, then you can see you can pick you can pick this point and color this. You can pick this point, you can color this, you can pick this one and color this. But since it is a boundary, here we will not go for any coloring. And if you go for the next, then only a partially will be filled. But if you go for a 8 connected, then it is filled fully. The following procedure illustrates a recursive method for painting a 4 connected area with a solid color which is specified in the parameter called fill color up to a boundary color specified which is specified with the parameter border color. We can extend this procedure to fill an 8 connected region by including 4 additional statements to test the diagonal positions. This is the procedure for boundary fill algorithm. This fill color is the parameter which specifies the fill color. And the border color is the parameter which specifies the boundary color. We take a C point which is x, y. Here first we set the pixel x, y. We are going to fill the colors. And this one tells you that we are going to fill the colors according to the four connected. Which can be also extended for performing the different diagonal pixels. Here get pixel is used to set the current color to the fill color then we are going to perform the following operations. If the interior color is not equal to the boundary color 
and if the interior color is not equal to fill color then we have to set the color of the pixels to the fill color and we are going to test each and every neighboring cell and then we are going to perform the process sometimes we want to fill an area that is not defined within a single color boundary consider this diagram in this we have multiple color boundaries we can paint such areas by replacing a specified interior color instead of searching for a particular brown boundary color this fill procedure is called flat fill algorithm here we start from a specified interior point x comma y and reassign all pixel values that are currently set to a given interior color with the desired fill color if the area we want to paint has more than one interior color we can first reassign the pixel values so that all the interior points have the same color using either four connected or eight connected approach we then step through pixel positions until all interior points have been repainted here we now see a procedure for flat fill for a four connected region starting from the input position this can be extended for eight connected also so similarly to the boundary fill algorithm fill color represents the color that we are going to fill the interior color represents the basic the color that is default color that is in the area and x and y represents the seed point first we have to get the color of that particular thing if the color is equal to the interior color then we are going to set the pixel otherwise we are going to encounter each and every neighbor pixel and then we are going to give the interior colors problems with the fill algorithm one which is the boundary fill algorithm recursive boundary fill algorithms may not fill regions correctly if some interior pixels are already displayed in the fill color this occurs because the algorithm checks next pixels both for boundary color and for the fill color to avoid this we can first change the color of any interior pixels that are initially set to the fill color before applying the boundary fill procedure encountering a pixel with fill color can cause a recursive branch to terminate leaving other interior pixels unfilled the problems with the flat fill algorithm are the procedure requires considerable stacking of neighboring pixel points more efficient methods are generally employed these methods fill horizontal pixel spans across scan lines instead of proceeding to four connected or eight connected neighboring points then we need only a stack a beginning position for each horizontal pixel span instead of stacking all unprocessed neighboring positions around the current position starting from the initial interior point with this method we first fill in the contiguous span of stack pixels on the starting scan line then we locate a and stack starting positions for spans on the adjacent scan lines where spans are defined as the contiguous horizontal string of positions bounded by pixels displayed in the border color at each subsequent step we retry the next stack position from the top of the stack and repeat the process we can summarize the algorithm as follows define a seed point fill the scan line containing the seed point for scan lines above and below define new seed points as first point inside left boundary subsequent points within the boundary whose left neighbor is outside repeat the algorithm with a new set of seed points in the next session we will see area fill algorithm examples thank you